Oh, so <laughs> it is October 12th and it is currently 43 degrees outside. Um, it's six o'clock in the evening and we're supposed to be out in the twenties by eight. So <laughs> Arizona's cold y'all. It's very, very cold. <laughs> Okay, so today we're working on the solar array. Uh, we've got the post holes dug. We've got the four x four posts in. Those have all been pre-treated with liquid rubber to just help a little bit with rock. Uh, slow that process down. Um, so at this point, what we're doing now is we're putting stringers, I hope that's the right word for that, uh, between the posts and anchoring those in with uh, with these big honkers. So that should be fun. Those big what? Big honkers? Have you never heard that before? <laughs> Not for a screw. Too many jokes. I know. Too many jokes. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm so immature. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, uh, what's going to happen then is we have um, super strut or unistrut, whatever that stuff is called, uh, depending on where you buy it, uh, which we're going to actually run. Um, we're going to run four rails per span, and that will allow us to hold uh, six panels wide. Excuse me, three panels wide by two panels high. So we'll have six panels per span. We're gonna be doing the first 18 on this array. And then once we get another inverter, we'll be able to do a second 18 on this array. So let's get to it. that part where we had to cut the end off probably 
Why? Well, I know what I did wrong. <laughs> what did you do wrong? It's because I'm an idiot. Did you measure wrong? The math is right. Okay. It's 104 inches, excuse me, so the base is 90 inches. The height is 54 inches, and then the hypotenuse is 104 inches. That's what I measured on that board. And then promptly measured 20 degrees, not 30. Uh. <laughs> so if you, look, if you look at this thing, I don't know if you can see that or not. You have these degree marks. Yeah. By the way, this is one of my favorite tools, a speed square. You have the 90 degree all the time. You have the segments. Uh, and then, of course, when you're doing angled cuts, you have a protractor along this edge. But the interesting thing is that only the fives are marked by number. And then <laughs> the tens are marked by these little dots. Well, I measured to the 20 dot, not the 30 dot, which would have required a much, much shallower angle. See, at this elevation where we are, the sun actually goes from summer to winter. Uh, it can change quite a bit. And there are some solar arrays that actually have pivoting mounts so that you can change the angle. Solar panels are most effective when you have a straight shot, 90 degrees, directly perpendicular onto the panel. And that's why the panels are slanted at whatever elevation they are, depending on where you are, north to south. Had, uh, had we cut 20 degree angles um, instead of 30 degrees, we should have been about 300 miles south uh. of where we are. <laughs> and I feel like an idiot. We all make mistakes. Hey, babe, you're not an idiot because... Oops. I don't ever fail. I either succeed or I learn. That's right. But no, babe, you're not an idiot because uh, geometry, that's all. That's what all this is, right? This is trigonometry, but yeah, same idea. Oh, okay, trig? I didn't learn anything in trig. My teacher was a joke uh, for trig. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah, that, but trig was a joke. Well, that's what I should have been using in this case. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I don't math. That's not my thing, so. That's, that's the recipe for finding the angles and the lengths of lines on a right triangle. Okay. Well, that's your job. You know what, though? What? If you were a triangle, you would be acute. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> All right. Cut these boards. Chop, chop. Saw, saw. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not awake yet. And you think I'm a dork. We're both dorks. <laughs> My geometry class was a joke too, though. Well, I do find it interesting that in every other country in the world, nope. they're called maths. Well, because it's mathematics. I understand that, but there's several different studies of math. Yeah. There's addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, um, algebra, trigonometry, geometry, calculus, multiple maths. Yeah. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah. No, I know. The Brits like to put, point it out to us because <laughs> we're idiots. And I'm a maths idiot. I, I only pass my math class thanks to Brittany, who probably won't ever see this, but thank you, Brittany. Shout out to Brittany. Shout out to Brittany, because she's a math professor now. Oh. Yeah, she she knows maths. All right. So, she's... Oh, here, will you take this, please? Yeah, she's I'll the reason right I got a, an A in calculus. Top corner, like yep. all the way at the top? Right at the top corner. Yep. Okay. Is this... How did you learn the quadratic equations? I had good math teachers. No, I know. Do you? Thank you, Mr. Mellon. 
Uh, no, but did you have a fun way of learning it? Fun? Yeah. My calculus teacher taught us to pop goes the weasel. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of 4, 2A minus 4AC all over 2A. Well, that's, yeah, I guess that's trigonometry. It was calc. No, that's, um. I learned it in calculus. I understand that. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> that doesn't have to do with triangles. That has to do with circles. No, I wasn't talking about triangles. Okay. That's the only thing I remember for math. Oh. I think that's right. I might be misplacing the twos and the four. Yeah, they made me memorize pi to like the 14th place or something like that. Seriously? Yeah. <sighs> it was interesting. It's because you went to a fancy school in Germany. I had an amazing education, that's true. All right, shall we take this over? Let's take it over. Um, let's carry it out of frame and then get the camera. We're gonna carry it out of frame and then get the Don't camera. Don't speak to the camera. We're gonna fast forward this part. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. And then she has the invisible jet. Was that in the movie? I don't think so. Well, then why would I know it? Because it was from the, 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 the cartoon friends in the morning. I never watched that. Okay. I watched Saved by the Bell like a normal child. I watched that too. <laughs> don't give me that. <laughs> okay, so. <sighs> That end. Oh, I need the drill. <clears throat> you want me to put it up against this board? Uh, probably. Babe? No, let it go. Down. This Sorry. board is too long. Uh, That's a little too far. It's a little too far. Yeah, we may have to cut it again, it's fine. But I need you to move it off of that board and then up. That's pretty close.
waiting for you if you had to leave I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea I just wanna say that I feel That our love is real Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal Today we started working on the solar array and we had to pause because of course I want to get everything on film and I was having some issues with the camera and the SD cards um, and then I decided to edit so we got back to it around 4 o'clock um, and had to redo everything um, because things weren't Oh, I was just explaining what happened. That's all. I mostly so I don't forget it. I don't know if I'll use the footage, but but yeah. So basically, you're really tall. Yeah, you should probably angle the camera. <laughs> well, here, do you want to tell it then? No. No, you want me to help? Sure. Okay, hang on. Okay. Just remember to speak loudly. So. So. I don't know if you can hear us over the sound of the damn generator. Nathan's not in the best mood at the moment. Is that fair? Are you <laughs> okay, let's start over. <laughs> Cut. Okay. So, we started the array today and uh, we got some stuff put up this morning and then we took a break to work on some other things inside and then came back to it this afternoon. When we put the strut up, we realized that the posts were a little too far away from each other. But we made it work. 
or so we thought. Um, when we got finished putting the first two struts on, it looked really weird. And so we went to measure between the second like post and the third post and it wouldn't reach at all. So we had to take it down. But Nathan came up with um, some improvisation uh, so that we didn't have to re-drill holes because... In the ground. In the ground, yeah. <laughs> Redrilling the holes in the ground. Um, because A, it's expensive, and B, it just takes so much time. Um, so, he cut some, what, two by fours? Two by sixes? Well, yeah. It's just, it, it's the story of our lives. Nothing is square. Nothing is the right dimensions. I forgot to account for... We have these post space at 10 feet, which happens to be the length of the unistrut. Um, and I didn't account for the amount of space on either end of the unistrut that it takes to put in the screws. I'm not happy right now. Yeah, so uh, we drilled some wood uh, onto the wood that we had attached the unistruts to. Um, we're gonna have to do it on all of them now because that adjusts the angle um, and they won't be uniform if we only do it on a couple. So, it's just an added step in the process. It'll be covered up. It's not going to look bad or anything, but it will slightly change the degree of our panels, won't it? Just a little? No. No? It'll be okay? It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Improvise, adapt, overcome. That's Hoorah. right. Hoorah. Hoorah. So, uh... I'm not a Marine. No, but apparently that is I'm not the... that cool unofficial or the official mod no it's the it's unofficial. unofficial motto of the marine corps so um improvise adapt overcome that is pretty much every day on the homestead because we don't have a choice but to do that so it's not going to be pretty nope but it'll work yep and that's what matters so <laughs> tomorrow will be better i hope it's I time for meat Yes. Meat and beer. Beer, meat, and warmth, because it is cold out here. <laughs>